Hey, hello, it's me, Shadow Mew, and we're here today with some more AFK Journey, where we're going to be taking in the new unit, Floribel, into the King Croker Dream Realm fight, because she is recommended for this fight, and I want to see how well she actually puts into this uh, entire encounter, where his whole gimmick is that he has the ability to one-shot your units. So if you do enjoy, be sure to leave those likes, those subscribes, those comments down below. Check the game out in the link below in the description, and let's just get right hopping into this uh, so we're gonna take off vala we're gonna take off uh smoky and mirzi mirzi ah floorbell and rowan revive damage damage and energy battery um i think we want to give star spell shard because i think we want floorbell to be popping her ultimate as many times as she can just watching it go off so far. It appears that we are doing solid damage. Here comes Thorian with his counterattack. Alright. Smashy comes in to lay down the beatdown. We have all the little units going out. Multi attack from Walker. issue is we don't have constant healing like we normally would from the uh, meerkat boy and and the other what dorian has used his revive but but we are at the last stages of the fight should be able to clear it up. I think I should have positioned my units a little better, too. Manage to clear his barrier. Dorian has gone down. Oh, he's going to throw a snake. And we're going to have Smashy bonk him again. But I think we are able to finish this out. Just barely. I think I do need to space them out, though, because that splash attack does a lot of damage. Beautiful. We got those little invites. Close that up. He's now the epic difficulty. Which means all this stuff hits a lot harder. So we're going to go battle. We're going to actually space everybody out. Over here, over here, and over here. There we go. That should be good. I think Walker isn't probably the best choice for this, though. I feel like there are better options. I think we use Cessia because a, sec a Mr. Carlisle up in here, kind of crazy. And let's rock it. Okay, looking good so far. Dorian has healed. Unfortunately, I underestimated that Rowan was actually gonna move. Well, that he did move, but it's okay. Smashy's gonna bonk down on the big old Toad Man. Here comes Mr. Carlisle, ready to lay down the beating also. There go. Unfortunately, Cessia has been taken down. Rowan is charging everybody. I think Dorian just got taken out. Dorian did, in fact, get taken out. Quite unfortunate. The problem with, with Rowan is that he's not a healer. Not like the traditional sense. He's a support... But well, he's not good at, like, the supporting aspect. Mm-hmm. Floribel's gonna heal Smashy. He's gonna bonk down on him again. Gorian has been taken out. And that is the fight. Alright. Clearly, I need to get a bit stronger. We also could just try switching out a couple of the units. Uh, let's see. We need Rowan. Let's try just switching in... Where is he? Let's put in double support. Put you over here. Put you over here. Well, let's see how well they perform now. They are in the area of the damage boost. Rowan should get his ultimate soon. Which will fuel everybody else's ultimates. There we go. Rowan. Oh, he got his first. 
Smokey and Mirky got theirs first. Then we got Smashy come again. Alright, the extra healing is proving useful. Especially with the extra heal right there. They got pumped back up to full health. Okay. Odie's coming in. All little petaliums are doing their bonk work. Thanks to Rowan popping his ultimate often, we also are getting that star shard proc to activate a nice amount of times. Floribel should get a full heal by the time we get to that next attack. Yep. Rowan has healed everybody else. Rowan has popped his ultimate. They have popped their ultimate. They have been taken down. Smokey and Mirky are down, meaning our healing has gone down drastically. Unfortunate. But we are actually clearing the damage of the boss a lot faster. Uh, I don't think we're going to be clearing it anymore, though. That is unfortunate. But we got a little farther. Really, really matters that you keep them alive. Does do a good bit of work, though, we'll say, we'll say. Nice, nice tasty amount of work. I have been most of the bosses, at least, with their little difficulty bonuses. Here we got even a little extra equipment. Uh, I kind of want to boost the warriors, not going to lie, because Floribel is pretty good. We get a sword. We click equip that bad boy. Which gives us even more crit chance, which is amazing. We're going to recycle everything. And I think I just need to upgrade my stuffs, right? That should fix some of the problem. It's going to take a while, though. Okay. I still definitely can't fight that thing. So, until later, we're going to have to stop there for challenging the Dream Realm boss fight. So, if you did enjoy, be sure... As always, to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, check the game, pin comment down below in the description and the top comment, as well as if you want to join me in the guild that I have, which, if I'm going to be honest, with zero members, please join. Uh, that is also going to be down in the description. So see ya, and love ya! Bye!